Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you need to export your QuickBooks Online Plus data to use with a desktop version of QuickBooks, you can do this, although there are some limitations. Note the process can take up to 12 hours to complete. However, the time is generally much shorter than that. It will depend on the amount of information contained within your company file. First, you must use Internet Explorer 10 or higher to export data from QuickBooks Online Plus. No other browser will allow you to export data. From the gear icon, select the Export Data link under the Tools heading to start the process. An Export Overview page will appear, listing the steps that need to be taken to move your company file from QuickBooks Online Plus to a QuickBooks Desktop file. When you have read all the steps, click the Get Started button to start the process. Step 1 entails installing ActiveX controls for Internet Explorer. Click Install to start the process. Note that you will also need to set qbo.intuit.com as a trusted website through Internet Explorer. From the File menu within Internet Explorer, you can select Tools and then Internet Options. Click the Security tab and select the Trusted Sites option. Click the Sites button and enter https colon forward slash forward slash qbo Dot intuit .com. Type this into the Add This Website to the Zone field and click the Add button and then click the Close button to close the window. Click OK to close the Internet Options window. The last step for Task 1 is to ensure you have a copy of QuickBooks Desktop on your computer. There is a Download Now link on this page if needed. Next, you'll be asked to confirm the installation of the ActiveX controls. You must install the new ActiveX controls for the export to function. You can click the Install button to continue the setup. When the installation has completed, a message should display saying it was installed correctly. You can then click the Continue button to move on to the next step. Step 2 is where you will select your data. You have two options on this page. The first is All Financial Data, and the second is All Financial Data Without Transactions. Make your selection on this page and click the Continue button to advance to the next step. Step 3 is where you will request your data. This page will also list the items that will not export properly to be used with a QuickBooks desktop program. Read these items carefully. There are links on this page that will allow you to print reports or lists that will allow you to re-enter the information that does not transfer. The list of things that don't export properly are budgets, recurring templates, customer credit card information, statements, and estimates. You will have to re-enter or recreate these items after you export from QuickBooks Online Plus. There may be other limitations that are not listed. It will all depend on how customized your information is. When you have retrieved all of the information that won't export properly, click the Continue button to advance to the next stage. You now will be asked to enter your name and an email address. You must enter a valid email address. QuickBooks Online Plus will email you when your download is ready. After entering the information, click the Continue button. A new page with a thank you message and a close button will now be displayed. Click the close button to be taken back to your company's home page. Now you just have to wait for the download to be completed. When you have received the email telling you your download is complete, follow the steps to complete the export conversion. You will find the download in the Activities list within the home page. Click the Take Action link to download the file. If there is no Take Action link in the Activities list, you can click the gear icon and choose Export Data again. Follow the prompts until you get to a page that tells you you already have a file ready to download. Then click the Continue to Download button and follow all of the steps to start the file download. Select the option to move my data to QuickBooks Desktop Edition and click Continue. Read the two more steps you need to convert your data for QuickBooks Desktop. First, you must open QuickBooks for Windows and close the company file that automatically opens. Then back in QuickBooks Online, you need to download and save your QuickBooks Online company data and convert your file to a new QuickBooks for Windows company file. When you're ready, click the Download button to start the download. A Save Your Company File To dialog box will appear asking you where to save your file. Choose a folder into which you want to save your file and click the Save button. Do not change the name of the file before saving. After the file has downloaded, ensure you have your desktop version of QuickBooks open, and then click the Convert Now button. 
On-screen instructions will tell you the steps necessary to follow after you click the Convert Now button. After you click the Convert Now button, a Create New QuickBooks File dialog box will appear. You want to save the file in the same directory that has the QuickBooks desktop file. Choose a name for the file and save it into the Company Files folder in the QuickBooks directory on your computer. The conversion process will begin and you will see a status web page dialog box that has a status bar. During the conversion process you will have to authorize the acceptance of a certificate. If the status bar seems to be frozen, you may need to bring your QuickBooks desktop program to the foreground and accept the certificate. When the certificate appears, click Yes prompt each time or Yes this time and then click the Continue button. When you've accepted the certificate, a pop-up box will display confirming you have granted access to the new file. Click the Done button to close the pop-up box. The final page displayed is a congratulations page telling you that the process is complete. It may be a good idea to run some reports in your QuickBooks desktop to ensure the data was exported correctly from QuickBooks Online Plus. There should be a Which Reports link that will tell you what reports to run. You can click the Finished button to close the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.